Two things that I love, Fallout and Magic the Gathering. They have combined into a universe beyond with Fallout. But is this all that I wanted as a Fallout fanboy? We are now finally having Watsi's interpretation of Fallout into Magic the Gathering. And so far, I am liking it. I've seen cards such as Sulfur Falls that hints to a wall dwellers and fire geckos, and I love it. And I've also seen Farseek, a card that picks up a little bit about the lore between Marcus and Jacob, two beloved characters in Fallout 2. Right there, I'm just completely sold. I love that they are gone deep dive into the Fallout universes. This is Fallout from Fallout 1 all the way to Fallout 4, and they have just been able to merge it very seamlessly together. The result is a very, very good Fallout set that speaks to a lot of Fallout fans out there without forgetting the roots of Magic the Gathering. But my greatest joy from this set is actually the Vault Boy interpretations. The Vault Boy is such an iconic piece of art for the Fallout games, and this piece of art has been interpreted into magic cards and the result is just stunning. I've been hunting high and low to get all the Vault Boy cards because in my book this is just a perfect example of Fallout and Magic Gathering combined into one and I love it. The Vault Boy cards are giving us Fallout interpretations of very beloved cards such as Wasteland, Crucible of Worlds and Command Tower and I love it. Unfortunately these Wall Boy cards are only available in the collector boxes, and that might actually be an issue. More about that later. So did I pass my speech check? Like and subscribe if I did. And also, let me know down in the comment section what you think about the Fallout Universes Beyond. Fallout Universes Beyond are giving us two different products. We're getting the collector boxes and we're getting four commander decks. And these commander decks are actually really nice. We've been playing them on TTS and they work wonders. Especially Hail Caesar and Mutant Menace are two particularly very good decks. The lore and the flavor in all four decks is absolutely stunning. And I'm really amazed that they've been able to take so much from the Fallout lore and Fallout universe and get them into decks that actually seem to fit really well together. Of course, there is a problem, and that problem is that if you are like me and you like building decks, it might be really hard to upgrade these decks without also losing some of that flavor and some of that cohesiveness. But if you like to play decks right after the box and you love the pre-con decks, this is definitely the product for you and it's the best way to get into playing Fallout in Magic the Gathering. If you want to collect a set of Fallout Universes Beyond, it might be more of a hassle for you, since the collector boxes have been really short printed and they are hard to come by. The collector boxes are really expensive and they are hard to get, but it seems like that if you're actually going to get your little filthy hands on them, and if you want to fork out the money to actually buy them, you might be in luck because the openings we have seen so far actually seem to come out kind of favorably. All in all, I think that the Fallout Universes Beyond is a superb Magic the Gathering set, and I really love it. The flavor, the art, the whimsical nature of Fallout, they have captured all of it, and it is just stunning and great. But I can't help but wonder if I'm a bit biased since I am a Fallout fanboy. All in all, I'm going to give Fallout Universes Beyond 5 out of 5 Goblin Guides. So that is an absolute home run in my book. If you want to know more about the Universes Beyond, you should check out this video where we go into all the Universes Beyond that's going to hit Magic the Gathering in the coming time. Thank you to our YouTube channel members and our Patreon members for supporting the Cardboard Guide. It means a lot to us and you are absolutely fantastic. You might even be a Pip-Boy.